hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new ui design tutorial and today i'll show you this type of uh, interface design and this one for the ipad pro and let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so i'm closing this one and saving the that one and i'll take the another template which is uh, ipad pro 10 inch 10.5 inch and hit the ok button now you are getting this type of artboard and if you want to make it horizontal select this one and select here the horizontal one and giving the name lemon so after that taking like a rectangle like this turn off the border give the fill color like this and after adding the photo of the fruit we'll change the background and after that go to the circle and making the circle like this taking the border off and this one another copy ctrl c and ctrl v and making it a little bit smaller giving another color for the recognize and then we'll make it a little bit bigger and taking the smallest border of that so i'll take that two circle and making it like this after that taking rectangle or square like this that's good turn off the border and select these two subject that means the circle and the square shape and making it like this after that we'll make the circle over here so for the edges drawing the circle by pressing shift and option button for the symmetrical circle turn off the border and just provide over here press the alter or option button and make another copy of this and you can make it smaller or bigger by pressing or shift and option button that's good and selecting these three subject and making it group now i'll import the photo go to the file and import options from here i downloaded some photo from the clean png and i'll provide you that downloading in my video description and import this one after that making it smaller and place over here and make it a little bit bigger okay that's nice okay after that now change the background color so making it like that and like that that's good and now taking the color from here go to the color picker and pick color from here if you want to make this one neutralize you can just select this one that's good and now i'll make this one like a little bit curvy this one press the option button hold it this portion only i'll make it curve a little bit that's good if you want to change the color i think this color is good that's good and now now upper side i'll make the search button or search bar so turn off the fill color only the border color white and making it too pretty that's good and then line tool drawing the line for the 45 per degrees with the shift and hold it you will get that one and making it white as well and this one too pretty as well okay that's good selecting these two things making it group that's good and placing over here and now i'll go to the rectangle and drawing rectangle like this making it round like this and turn off the border pick the color from here that's good uh, you can make it more darker like this uh, i think the previous one is good that's fine and making it a little bit like this okay and i'm making it a little bit smaller okay uh, 25 or 30 30 bit is good make sure that that is locked okay that's good and now i'll just write down something add to cut changing the font to evnir and making it bold or black and giving here plus sign like this 
making it white color that's good for the reason i'll make this one a little bit darker okay that's good and giving over here the shadow here will be two and four that's good okay here you should add the shadow so shadow giving the shadow here uh, like uh, four and eight that's good and now i'll write down something lemon l e m on making it bigger like this and the line gap i'll make this one 60 is good and making this one into the last layer so, like this making it like this okay i should make it 90 pt that's good and this one should be 85 that's good okay and then taking another text tool taking something fresh like that but changing the font size like uh, 60 or 50 50 is good making it light font so this one is 30 is good for that and fresh i'll add over here the fresh lemon lemon and this one should be like 80 okay that's good and now i'll draw the circle over here and turn off the border write down one okay that's good making it smaller like 12 pt and change the color uh, into this select this one and pick from here and in a middle alignment of this okay you can make it manually aligned making it group like this and this portion i'll write down something like 99 percent okay 99 percent make the shift button okay making wide actually so writing in a capital letter actually over here and making it bigger like uh, 30 30 pt that's good and make it this one okay you're making uh, here like this type of things and now i'm just writing over here fresh lemon here selecting all the things making the color like dark and making the font size 90 and the gap between two letters the two lines actually 80 that's good and making it a little bit smaller so this type of is small okay and these two things that means the text and search bar will be in a top alignment that's good and same thing i'll keep over here giving the color white and i'll write down something over here which is collected from the google and if i write down here lemon and i'll take this text and just paste over here going to the text tool making the line like that and paste taking the text tool like this and paste like that now after that making this one 12 pt and gap between two lines will be 12 and making this one regular so medium that's good and will be the that's good and you can make it a little bit smaller this one is good and now uh, we'll explain the nutrient of the lemon so this type of things 
how many things that means the vitamin c 88 percent copying all the things from here i'll go to the text tool and vitamin c 88 percent and next one i'll make copy by pressing alter or option button okay fine and let's see the other nutrient like vitamin b6 five percent copying this one five percent and giving over here the space to making the alignment and here the magnesium two percent copying this one and placing over here okay selecting these three lines and making it alignment properly making group before that i'll like customize or give the bullet mark turn off the border copy this one and this one that's good selecting all the items and making it group that's good you can place this one over here it will explaining the product value or product things so you can make it a little bit bigger if you need or you can place this one this portion and this one i should give over here okay and now i'll give the price over here so giving the same font and like a ten dollar or five dollar so giving here the dollar sign and zero five point twenty point zero zero per kg okay i'll make this one into 60 pt uh, it's too big uh, 30 pt is good okay so same alignment i'll make with that middle alignment actually okay that's good and then we'll draw something over here so how to draw like go to the square shape taking this one the turn of the border give the fill color like this okay that's good and making circle over here that's good actually it will be rectangle like this in a middle place or a little bit upper side that's good turning off the border and making another copy ctrl c and ctrl v making this one a little bit bigger only the border fill color of border, border thickness will be 2 pt and the color will be white that's good and giving over here the shadow and this lemon control c and control v and taking this lemon over here and like that so that's good i'm making it bigger that's good okay and now we'll add something like making it a little bit round and here i'll make the shadow how to do that going to the rectangle tool making the rectangle like this turn off the border give the fill color like this and from the blur object i'll make it more blur like this and sending this one into back layer okay that's good and turning the opposite down so floating effect just giving now i'll give the color which is the fill color is like that that's good and i'll make copy this one actually this 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 one and this one making it group actually making it copy and paste okay after that i'll change only this one to ash color and this one to like smaller okay that's good okay that's fine and i'll take this one over here i'll make it move smaller making this one into last layer okay that's good and selecting this one making it more whitish and again this one i'll make the copy that's good 
and selecting all the things make it all the thing is smaller like this okay that's fine and now fresh lemon i'll take this one and making it upper side and making it one line like a 15 pt is good for that and the price as well taking this one upper side okay that's good okay nice and now i'll create another button over here so going to the rectangle tool making another button only the border and border color will be like this and round as well that's good and border thickness will be 3 pt that's good and making the alignment in the middle not this one actually this okay and here i'll write down something fresh fruit okay and picking the color from here okay this one i'll make it a little bit bigger and make it actually ash color is good for this that's good and giving the space between two letters like 100 and drawing a circle like this turn off the border give the fill color green that's good and now we'll add uh, some card over here go to the file and import i have some icons to download and like use so i use those icon I downloaded those icon from uh, like flaticon.com and i'll provide you the download link in my video description so making it smaller okay this one i'll just taking this one in this position and these three things i'll make the alignment into upper set top alignment that's good i'm taking this one to this portion that's nice going to the circulars uh, like a circle tool or ellipse tool whatever it is turning off the border and providing the color like red type just because of notification remaining the notification like that i can make it a little bit smaller okay that's good it's just showing you the notification bar and the tick button i'll make it several times ungroup and ungroup and i'm taking this one copy this one and taking this to upper side and another circle that type of circle making it in the downside turn off the border if the color of this the green and making this one white that means the tick button will be white color so this one okay that's fine in the middle alignment group and this one i'll place over here so you have to make this one white actually okay and the tick button should be the green color okay you can make this one a little bit bigger this portion and you can make it like this and you should use this one here or here or wherever it is i think this one is good position to add and turning the delete all the things so you're getting this type of uh, user interface easily by this type of techniques and here something missing i'm making this one the rectangle and the square shape same thing turning off the border giving the ash color like this okay making it circle and making it round like that so it's look like something is swiping like this 
making it group making it a little bit smaller and you can use this one here or this portion wherever it is but make sure that this one is middle alignment so you are getting these type of things and you can save this one you are getting this type of user interface if you need you can make it bigger so i'm making it bigger like this and all the things should be like this alignment and in downside and saving this one you're getting this type of interface and how to export this one go to the file and export this one and all artboard and then save this one today and giving the lemon to add export the artboard after exporting that go to the photoshop file and i have that file so i used a mock-up mock-up was like that that means this type of mock-up after getting the download of the mock-up you will get the file like that here is the smart object double click over here go to the file and place embedded which file you just exported a little bit earlier place it out and making it fit with that so after that hit the tick button and save it and enjoy if you need you can change all the things like uh, i'll add some levels over here so giving it more eye catchy so hope that you learn a lot from this video if it did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i am asani signing out today stay safe stay at home bye bye